Holly here and today I'm going to be sharing with you Milani Statement Lipsticks. I believe there's like 31 in the entire collection. I have 17 here to share with you today. So these are the Milani lipsticks that I'll be sharing with you today. Milani is a drugstore brand. You can find it at CVS, Walgreens, and Target, I believe. Walmart too as well. Actually, and take that back, not Target, it's Walmart. And I love them. They come in these beautiful gold packaging. I love that the color is evident down here on the bottom. So they are really easy to store. You can do them upside down. They're just flat and you can see the color and the name up top. So I'm actually just gonna jump right in. Oh, well, I'm just gonna tell you a couple of things. Um, I really love the packaging. I love the scent of them. They have like a fruity scent, so it's really nice. I like it. It doesn't last very long. You just, you smell it on the lipstick. You can smell it when you put it on your lips, but after a few moments, it's gone. But um, I still like that. I think it's really nice. And um, the formulas are amazing. I can definitely say for Color Stay, they are some of the most long-lasting lipsticks that I've ever worn. So I am just going to jump right in, and we will start with number 11 and this is called fruit punch so here you are it's a nice pink actually it's a really nice everyday pink so this is going to be fruit punch number 11 and actually let me show you like this because this and this are like right on like you're not gonna see the lipstick and not get a really good idea for the swatch or what it's gonna look like on your lips okay. So this is number 26 and this is nude cream and I actually love this a lot. This might be one of my new faves. Um, it's really nice, really moisturizing, super natural. So there it is there. And that was 26 nude cream. Now this is going to be a brighter pink and this is called catwalk pink. It's number 45. Here it is here and here it is with the swatch. So this is like a super Barbie pink. Like you, you better be ready to show the world your Barbie when you come out with number 45. And then this is one of my favorites just for the season. Like not an everyday or anything like that. But as you can tell by my bright orange lipstick right now that I'm kind of into the oranges. So... This is Sweet Nectar. This is not what I'm wearing right now. This is number one. Comes out super orange. I like it a lot because it has like a little bit of a lighter shade underneath it. It's not a super bold orange. So yeah, it actually has like, I could see like a little bit of like gold in there where it would look really beautiful with a nice gold um, shadow. And then this is probably one of my favorites and this is Power Pink. I like a very bright in your face pink. So. This is a little bit more like magenta-y. It's a little bit deeper than um, the other swatches that I showed you. So this is 46 Power Pink. This is going to be number 64 Matte Orchid. Now I have a true love for the matte lipsticks. I think they're amazing. I think the color stay is phenomenal. I think the formula is great. It's not drying. It is matte. There is no shine, but it is really nice. So this is matte orchid and probably one of my favorites. I am just side note, totally down to own the entire matte collection because I like it. Um, this is another one of like my new favorites. I really was never like into nude colors, but this color is nice. I mean, it's really nice. And I think it plays well with a lot of other colors, like a lighter pink in the middle, a darker purple on the outside, and like this as the inner color. So I like this. Oh, let me show you. This is called Plum Rose. And this is number 17. So oh, I like it a lot. And then this is number going to be number three. Again, Orange Gina, a really nice color for this season. This is definitely a lot more satiny and sheer than the number one sweet uh, sweet nectar, sorry. So there it is there. A little bit lighter, probably a little bit more everyday friendly. And then I have, I saved her for, for the end of these ones. And this is number 34, Violet Bolt. <laughs> Look at her. And here's the swatch. I'm actually going to go under my tattoo this time just because it's getting a little moist up there. And 
you're not getting good swatches like that. So that is, sorry, there you go. Violet Vault. Now this Violet Vault number 34, this is the only color that I would say that the swatch is not super um, close to the color on the lipstick. Now it's not a huge difference at all, but it definitely comes out lighter um, on the lips than it does than you're going to see in the package here. And this is probably the only one that I would say so far that I've had an encounter with that it's not super, super true to this color down here, or to the color that you see in the thing. Did y'all get that? That was so messy. Anyways, Violet Vault is the only color that I believe that when you are looking at it on in the stick and on your lips, it's not identical. It is a little lighter, but I definitely think you can build up into that color, which I just haven't had the chance to play with 17 new lipsticks in just a few days. So now I'm going to move on to what I found when I got home after purchasing um, 17 new lipsticks was that some of them were like dupes for my MAC lipsticks. Now I've been a MAC wearer forever and I just started like recently getting into um, like more drugstore and just different stuff instead of just sticking to one brand and believing that they excel in everything. So um, I have actually found some dupes so that's what I'm going to share with you. So I have, oh just kidding, I actually have three more <laughs> lipsticks to share with you before I move into the dupes. So, um, number 27, Dose Carmelo. This is her. This is it. This is a super beautiful everyday color. This is a really nice, just throw it on your lips and out the door. I like that a lot. Number 27, Dose Carmelo. Let me just grab Okay, now, number 29 is Teddy Bear. And I, I, this is really a true light brown. And some people might like this. I don't like browns on my lips. To me, it's a little muddy. Um, maybe, maybe I'm not that hip. Maybe I will get there someday. I don't know. So anyways, this is Teddy Bear. And so this you probably will never see on my lips. This will probably be gifted to somebody. But, um, I mean, come on, it smells super nice. So 29 Teddy Bear. And then I have another one for you that I have to be honest that this is not in my comfort zone either. I'm not into the brown family, but this one... I'm going to find a way to try to work this in and see what I can do. This is a really beautiful, and I can really see this going well with eyeshadows because it really reminds me of like a few of my eyeshadows from some of my naked, uh, my naked one and two palettes. So this is, sorry, Bronze Beauty number 31. There she is. You see that? So that's a nice one. That one I will be playing with and then maybe giving away or keeping. We don't know. Um, so now I'm going to move on to my dupes. So one of my first dupes is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. This is number 66, Matte Passion. Um, like I said, identical to what you're going to see here, to what you see here. It's exactly what's going to come out on your lips. And I love this. This is actually a dupe for Max Lady Danger. Let me show you both of them. next to each other and then on the wrist so lady danger matte passion matte passion is going to be up top lady danger is going to be down below and if you can see the difference who raw for you but i really don't see much of a difference this is milani this is mac now the only difference that i can see in the formulas is and let me tell you i love the Milani matte formulas. They are just smoother. Halfway through the day when wearing my MAC lipsticks, I have to scrub all that lipstick off and all everything that it's built up around my mouth, exfoliate my lips, and then reapply a lipstick. Now with the Milani mattes, I haven't had to do that once. I can literally just go over the lip, already existing lipstick and just reapply. So I have to say that I really recommend them and I really like them a lot. So that was matte. That was, sorry, Lady Danger and Matte Passion. And now I'm going to show you my all-time favorite MAC lipstick. Actually, my all-time everything lipstick is Ruby Woo. I think it is just a beautiful red lipstick. Just always make a statement. And um, I just love it. It's the only lipstick I've ever hit pan on. And before I even got to pan, I had already a new one on deck. Like, I don't want to know what a day is like without the option of Ruby Woo. I will say this, 
Best Red, number seven, Milani, here. Ruby Woo, below. And here we are. Actually, I'm gonna get it a little bit more skinny. So, there you are. Milani, Ruby Woo. And the formula for the Milanis is a little nicer. Now, another one that I have that I really love is Matte Diva, number 63, and Candy Yum Yum from MAC. So, let me give you both of those right here. And... Milani's going to be up top. Mac's going to be down below. This is Candy Yum Yum and Matte Diva. So there we go. Up top is Milani and down below is the Mac. And the formulas for these, very, very similar. Now, I have number 62, Matte Blissful. And num I'm sorry, not number. Pink plaid for Mac. Now let me side by side. Um, again, Milani's going to be up top and Mac's going to be down below. And here they are. Now, on these ones, I, I definitely see a little bit more of like a brownie or topier color than this brighter pink, but when you're putting them on, they definitely, on my lips, I cannot see a difference. And then last, I have number 14, Hip Rose, which I really love. And let me get a swatch of this. I'm going to go a little bit lower on the arm. So Hip Rose number 14 is up top. And then I'm going to show you. This is the Pro Longwear Love Always by MAC. And here it is swatched below. And so, like I said, these are, like, when you just blend them in, that you really see no difference. And that's what I'm talking about. It's, like, on the lips that you don't see a difference in these, and that's why I'm calling them dupes. So, yeah. So, that's going to conclude this video. Like I said, I just thought they were really amazing deals. Um, I actually got them at CVS on sale for $2.99, but they retail for $5.99 to $6.29. They're great deals, and I definitely think that um, it's pretty easy to shop these in drugstore just because the color here and just the color payoff from what you see here to on your lips is, I think it's amazing. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I do plan on doing the Milani blushes. Um, and if you want to see what the swatches look up on your lips, if you want to see the dupes, like the MAC on top and the Milani on bottom or anything like that, just comment below, let me know, and I'll be happy to do it for you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.